Howdy, howdy, howdy. Be Master Blizzard. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to sweeten audio in Adobe Edition. Now, right off the bat, when I'm looking at this audio, and keep in mind, this is really uber duper long audio. Generally, you want to keep the range between zero and minus six decibels, which we can see here. His highest volume is actually about minus six, whereas his lowest is probably somewhere around minus 18. However, I'm not zoomed in. This is just kind of a general guess. What you'll want to do is you'll want to add a compressor. A compressor will lower the highest volume, raise the lowest volume, but in raising the lowest volume, it'll also raise a lot of noise. So before we do anything, before we get into all this compressing shenangles, first thing we're going to do is we're going to zoom into the timeline in between spaces where he's talking. So here at the beginning, I'm going to zoom in even more. Here, where he's not talking, I'm going to highlight it. And you can see down here at the meters, the sound meters, that there's definitely noise and you can kind of hear a few clicks in there as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this as a noise print. So if I go to effects, noise reduction, Capture Noise Print. Now what I'll do is I'll come back to Noise Reduction, hit the Noise Reduction Process, it'll bring up this window. Now if I play, you can still hear the clicks, but you can't hear the noise. Whereas if I look at the output noise only, so now we can see that's all the noise that's being filtered out so let's click that again. And the clicks are okay. We could take those out later. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to listen to it with the voiceover, make sure it doesn't sound like too robotic. The key behind the fortunes of world's most successful investors is a little secret that 99% of Americans don't know anything about. Sounds fine. Great, so let's apply that. So after that's done, what we're going to do is First filter, we're going to add our compressor. We're gonna come over to this little arrow here. We're gonna hit amplitude and compression. You'll see there's a lot of compressors in this. Um, for the sake of this video, we're just gonna use single band compressor. What I like to do is I generally go to the preset, hit voiceover, and I'll kind of use that as my starting baseline. And now we know that it's going to be about minus 18 decibels. That's going to be our lowest frequency. So I'm going to make this just under that. Let's go to about minus 19 and maybe just a tad bit more. And if we look over here on the left side, we can see these two black boxes here, and these are going to be sound meters as well. The input here is going to be our original audio, whereas this output is going to be after the effect has been placed. So let's just sample it now and listen to what we've done. The key behind the fortunes of world's most successful investors is a little secret that 99% of- So you'll see now, this original audio is now louder than the filtered one um, that we've just put the effect on. So we can't have that. So we're going to just raise this until it's as close to zero decibels as possible. Let's try that. Americans don't know anything about. I'm going to reveal how you can take advantage of it today. Awesome. You'll see now these two red boxes have lit up. What that means is that those would actually pass zero decibels. It'll just sound blown out uh, when you're listening to it on your speakers or in your headphones. And so to prevent that, and that's called overmodulation, what we'll do is we'll just add a limiter. So on effect number two, hit the arrow, come down to amplitude and compression, and hit hard limiter. With hard limiter, this is set at minus 0.1, but I generally like to do minus 0.5. It's a little bit more of a buffer. And so we'll play it. And reap the windfall of cash it provides for your retirement. Great. And now, generally what I'll do is I'll add another noise filter just in case, because those frequencies have been raised in volume just a little bit when you did the compression. So we'll go to noise reduction. 
adaptive noise reduction. And here, this definitely depends on whatever audio sample you're using, so just tweak it and try to find what's best for you. Now for the next effect, just because when he's not talking, he might be taking like a big breath or something like that, and that's not really what you want the you know viewer or listener to hear. So what you can do is you can either take that audio out by hand, which is super easy. You just have to zoom in and look at these gaps where he's not talking. And let's just go to this one and sample it. So you can hear where he's like kind of taking a breath and you can kind of hear his mouth move just a little bit. In order to silence this, all you have to do is go up to effects and hit silence. Now, if you play it, nothing. Awesome. However, that was one like half a second clip in this 40 minute long video, and there's going to be hundreds of those. So probably doing it by hand won't be your first option. What you'll probably want to do is add a noise gate. A noise gate, you just come over to effect number four, hit the uh, arrow, and then hit amplitude and compression and dynamics processing. Now come over to the presets here and hit noise gate 20 dB. Now when I say noise gate, think of an actual gate. Now the gate is either open with all the audio flowing out of it or it's completely closed. So what this will do is when he's talking, the gate will be open, and when he's not talking, the gate will close and there won't be any sound at all. A noise gate does tend to cut off some of the frequencies that are a little bit lower, Fs and SH and S. So if we look at this, we're at minus 20 dB. I'm going to play it. That's how I've won so many cases and attracted so many major clients. You can hear the S at the end kind of faded out and you couldn't really hear it too well. And so what you do is you just adjust this just a little bit. This corner right here. That's when I knew I had a lot of work to do. From that day on, I've spent my time digging deep into the past. So it's still kind of fading just a little bit, so... So just find out exactly where it will work for you. Great, the last thing would just be fixing flubs where you know the uh, voiceover guy might have just messed up whatever he was saying or stuttered, or if you just don't like an entire section. All you have to do is come in here and select whatever section is bad and just hit delete. And that's it. If you just messed up, not a big deal. Command Z will bring it back. Great. When you're all done, make sure you just hit the apply button. You might have to load for a minute. And once it's all done, you'll see the wavelengths completely change. Then just make sure you go to File, Save As, and you can save it wherever you want as whatever format you're looking for. And also make sure you're saving your project as you go. Uh, I tend to save mine about every 10 to 15 minutes just because, you know, if you've been editing audio for the last three hours and suddenly your program crashes and you have to start from scratch, you're probably not going to be too happy. So, yeah, just make sure you save. Hope this helped.